Hi guys, all right, today we are going to be talking about how to start an OnlyFans with zero following. It is possible, a lot of creators have done it, and I know the steps to get you there. If you guys like my videos, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I can continue to make these videos for you and give you more of my knowledge throughout my journey on OnlyFans and hopefully help you get started on yours. If you want extra help besides my YouTube videos, my referral link is on my Instagram bio. It's in the description below. You guys can just click that, create your account with the link, and I will be happy to help you in whatever you need. You can ask me questions. I will be here for you. Today in this video, we'll talk about my background, how to promote your page, how to stay more private, taxes. But my background, I was a nanny. I nannied for three or four years after college, wasn't making any money, obviously. I was so poor, I would go to the grocery store every week and I would meal prep for the week because I didn't even have time to cook during the week. And I would buy the same food every single week because I knew how much it was going to be and I knew I could afford it. It's weird talking about this now because I have so much financial freedom. I just wanted to buy food. I just wanted to be able to eat. I really just use my money the same, but I'll go to the grocery store and I'll, I'll buy chips now because I can. <laughs> the OnlyFans has given me a lot of financial freedom. I'm so, so grateful. It's really changed my life. You know, I don't wake up stress about money and it just depends on what you're looking for are you looking to put a down payment on a house are you looking to make this your income your living like, you can live off of this if you really do a lot of research and just put a lot of time and effort into it it's not easy i'm not sure where that idea came from getting started is not easy get that out of your head because it does take work but as long as you're willing to put the work in you will see a lot of reward i promise and i'll show you how much i made throughout this video. So I do stay like slightly anonymous on my page. If I don't have anything covering my good parts, I don't have my face in it. I'll do like hair down or even just neck down. Whatever you feel comfortable with is what you do. But there is a stigma around OnlyFans. I don't know why because every single person has a body. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I just keep it face down in case I don't want people finding out or if people find out they won't see my face in that portion, how to start your page with zero following. You're going to start by making new accounts for all your social medias, every single one. We're talking Reddit, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube Shorts. All of this, you're going to make a new email, use the email you used for your OnlyFans and create new accounts. On these accounts, you're going to create content and you'll promote your social media in your bios of these accounts. On Instagram, you cannot directly link OnlyFans, so you'll have to use a link tree. On Twitter and Reddit, you can put the OnlyFans link in your bio. And TikTok, I would just say the link you want is on my Instagram bio with a cat emoji or a hot dog emoji, and that will direct people to your Instagram. Be ready to put time and effort into building your socials because the only way to get fans is they have to find you somewhere else. So they have to find you on Reddit, they have to find you on Twitter, one of these places, and that brings in your fans. I would start your OnlyFans page with 30 pictures and videos of yourself. So when people click the link that you're advertising on your other social medias, they see that you are a real person, you do post content, you have engagement. Also, every time I post a picture, I like my picture, <laughs> just so people can see like, oh, she has likes, so that it's not just a ghost town. I think every creator likes their own pictures. It's not weird. Don't feel weird liking your own pictures. You should love your pictures. And that really helped me in the beginning as well. Starting with zero following, because people click and they're like, oh, there is some engagement. It's just you liking your pictures though. They'll follow. I promise, I promise this works. I started at zero. I started with nothing. And I have made this work for me. I've built my account and I'm not gatekeeping anything. You can go to my page. I am giving you all the secrets. I want you to be successful. I don't understand people that don't want others to be successful. Your success means the world to me and we need to come together and just get financially free. We, we you know, we want to eat. We like to eat. I want people to eat. So I'm going to talk about how much I've made and how many fans I have today. I just have my computer here so I can tell you the exact numbers. So I have 593 fans on my paid page, my paid subscription page. I have two pages. I've just built it up to have two pages. I started with a paid page. I'll talk about that later. So I have 593 fans on my paid page and 1,362 fans on my free page. 
I am in the top 1.1% of all creators on my paid page, and I am in the top 1.8% of all creators on my free page. I did not start here at all. I started at ground zero. I had no fans. I made no money. It was horrible. I think my first month, I made my first month, 30 days, I made less than $100. I see creators saying they made 100 bucks their first week. So I really want you to know that my tips do work. They worked for me. And I've spent a lot of time and energy researching what works for OnlyFans and figuring out how to make money and how to make it work. Because I get to sit at home all day and get paid passively on this website. It's insane. I'm so happy. Let's talk about how much I've made. Gross and net are two different things. OnlyFans takes 20% of all creators just because we get to use their website. We get to use their platform. They do all the credit card handling. Any complaints, they deal with it. There's gross, which is how much you really made. Well, there's gross, which is how much you made. And there's net, which is how much you really made. Gross is before OnlyFans cut. My gross pay so far this year, there's still six weeks left, so something crazy could happen. But so far this year, my gross pay on my paid page is $65,289. That's insane because I've never even made that much in my life, so. Uh, but after OnlyFans takes their cut, my net pay, my net pay is $52,295. That's on my paid page. So if I only had one page, that would be so far this year how much I made just from that. And honestly, after I got it started, I don't do a lot. I get my pictures up each week and that's it. Getting started was the hardest part, <laughs> for sure. So don't give up on it. Just don't give up on it. I promise it's worth it and it works. Unless you really feel like this isn't for you and you're not going to have fun with it and whatever, then don't do it. But I feel good sometimes when I take a picture and people comment, like, oh, I love this. It makes you feel good about yourself, but it's not for everyone. So it might not be for you. So really think about that before you dive into this. On my free page, it's less. I just started my free page like halfway through the year. I have gross before OnlyFans cut on my free page, $29,811 and net on my free page, $23,849. So that's after OnlyFans took their cut. As you can see, this is my paid page. I net $52,294. And then you'll see my free page and you'll see I net $23,849 so far for this year. My net total after OnlyFans took their cut for my paid and free page put together, I've made so far this year, is $76,144. That is honestly insane. I have just been sitting in my house. I just do things in my house. I haven't even left and I don't even move my car. Well, that's crazy. I really want you to know you can do this. You can, everyone can do this. I made less than $100 my first month. So all of this is when I figured out how to work it. And it was like, by that time it was like May or June. So it took me like five months, but now I know what I'm doing. Head to toe, beginning to end. I know everything you need to do to be successful on this platform. Remember, you have to pay taxes. That is so crucial. You are getting paid, but you also have to pay taxes. Taxes is not what OnlyFans cut is. That's what they take, and that's their money. Taxes you have to pay to the government for having your own business, pretty much. Just to be safe, I would just take 20 to 30%. 20% is lowballing it. So if you even think you're gonna make 20 grand on this, I would just take 30%. Take 30% of every time you pull money out of OnlyFans and put it into a savings. Don't touch it, it's not even your money. You cannot use that money, that is for the government. And you need to talk to a tax person because you're gonna have to start paying your taxes quarterly. Your taxes are taken out every single time you get paid if you work for somebody. If you work for yourself, you have to pay quarterly. You will get what word am I looking for? You will get penalized if you don't pay your taxes quarterly. Go talk to a tax person, it's usually free. Ask around, ask your friends, or even on Facebook, you can anonymously write a post on a group page and just say, hey, I just started my own business and I'm looking for a tax person to talk to. Does anyone have any recommendations? And people will help you, they're very nice. You don't have to say you do OnlyFans. You don't have to tell your tax person you do OnlyFans. You just say, I work in social media and that's it. They don't have to ask you any more questions. They will help you. Mine helped me a ton and I did not have to pay him anything. I would start your page with a promotion. When I started, my page was 
and I always ran, run a promotion. Even now I always run a promotion because people love thinking they get a deal. I'll tell you what I do right now. So right now, my page is $20. I always have a 40% promotion, so technically it's $12. Because of this, even two fans, so one fan would have just been $20 if I got one fan to pay. Two fans is $24, and I know that doesn't sound good for me, but it is because I'm getting a lot more fans. But before I would get like one fan here, one fan there. Now they are coming in and I don't release a lot of goods on my page. So they come and they're like, oh, I'm already invested. I need to see more. So then I'll do more in messages and they can go, then they get my free page link once they are on my paid page and they can check out the good stuff. Really quick, I do just want to talk about the difference between a paid page and free page. So a paid page is People buy a subscription fee and then they have access to anything you post on that page. So you can't put anything behind a paywall unless it's in messages on a paid page. And on a free page, it's free to subscribe, but you can put content behind a paywall. When I first started, that sounded like a better idea, but what I noticed is a lot of people join a free page and they don't buy anything. They're just like there to read your captions i guess i have no idea i started with a paid page then i made a free page like six months later on my paid page when you buy the subscription i have pinned to the top of my profile the link to my free page at least anybody that follows my free page and if they don't want to spend any more money i got a little bit out of them there are a lot of people out there that will spend a lot of money on you though i'll wake up in the morning and i'll go on my page and i'm just it's just like this person tipped you this person tipped you i was sleeping and I made money. Like, what is happening right now? This is crazy. I would start with a pay page, but obviously it's up to you. Also, when I started, I got obsessed. Financial freedom is my top priority. That's all I want in life. I don't want to sit here stressing about the end of the month. I did a ton of research every single morning for probably a month. I would just walk my dog and listen with my earphones in to OnlyFans creators talking on YouTube. I would just type in YouTube OnlyFans and watch every single video. I think I've watched every YouTube video on OnlyFans. That's really what helped me get to where I am, is listening to those creators. And then I had a lot of stuff I did on my own too, because I haven't heard a lot of creators talk about having two pages. As you can see, that almost doubled my income. It has made my income way, way higher, like 30 grand higher than it would have been just with one page. Do your research, write things down, get nitty gritty. It's a business. I know it doesn't seem like one, but it really is. And you can be successful. I believe in you. I know you can do it because I did it. And now you can do it. If you use my referral link, it's in the description below. It's on my Instagram in the description below. To create your account, I will talk to you. I'll send you the document. And we can chat, chit chat, start a community together. I'm here for you. Thanks for watching. And I hope to hear from you guys soon. Good luck on your journeys. Bye.